We now know a child sex offender on the run escaped with the help of an unsuspecting friend, 62-year-old George Dudley, who is a patient at a Kansas State Hospital, was at a hearing yesterday at the Wyandotte County Courthouse. He walked out after a supervisor left him alone to use the restroom. Sloan Heller's in the newsroom with a closer look at this escape and where he might go next. Sloan, good morning. Good morning, Crystal. Police are telling us, again, Dudley walked past security right out the door and that he called a girlfriend to come pick him up. He told her he'd been released from the state hospital even though he hadn't. She believed him, picked him up, dropped him off in Casey Mo, and she last saw him getting money at an ATM at 39th and Main. Now, when she got home, she saw the news, realized Dudley had lied, and that's when she called police. Now, police have been telling us Dudley is extremely dangerous. He's been convicted for child sex crimes in three states, including Kansas. He's supposed to be at Larned Hospital indefinitely. That being said, though, he was in plain clothes yesterday. He didn't have restraints. That's because the hospital rewarded him for good behavior. We talked to a retired FBI agent. He says he could try, Dudley could try to leave the state, but he thinks he will likely stay close by. They should certainly be watching out for him in the area that he escaped in and, and around the area because the chances are he's going to probably do what he did what he was in prison for. Now, Dudley was actually at the courthouse trying to get a new lawyer. We were told that he was successful. He was there with three other patients from the state hospital and get this, four supervisors. Right now, there's a state agency investigating why these patients were all left alone, why did these supervisors leave them, and what should happen to their jobs. We're in the newsroom this morning. Sloan Heller, NBC Action News.